Hello, this is Aloisa with Math Leopard, and welcome to the final chapter in the Music of the Spheres. Today, we will look at the music of Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. As their distances from the Sun are so vast, my illustration's scale will have to be inferred. Beginning with the orbit of Uranus, we recall that to calculate frequency, the units must be expressed in cycles per second. The orbital period of Uranus is one cycle every 30,685.4 days. Translating days into hours, hours into minutes, and minutes into seconds, then reducing the units of days, hours, and minutes, we arrive at a frequency of one cycle every 2,651,218,560 seconds or 3.77185 times 10 to the minus 10th hertz. In order to enter into the audible range, we're required to raise the frequency 39 octaves. Hence, we multiply through by 2 to the 39th power, which results in a frequency of 207.3596731 hertz, approximately a G sharp. We next consider the orbit of Neptune, which lasts 60,189 days. When translated into seconds via the hour, minute, and second conversion factors, then reducing the units of days, hours, and minutes, leaves us with one cycle every 5,200,329,600 seconds, or 1.922955 times 10 to the minus 10th hertz. This frequency must be raised 40 octaves in order to be heard. Hence, we multiply through by 2 to the 40th power, yielding a frequency of 211.431123 hertz, approximately an A flat. And the final planet slash planetesimal in our solar system save for those not yet recognized as such, is Pluto. His orbital period lasts 90,560 days. When we convert this into seconds, then reduce all of the unit factors, we're left with a frequency of one cycle every 7,824,384,000 seconds, or 1.278 times 10 to the minus 10th hertz. Raising this frequency 41 octaves by multiplying through by 2 to the 41st power gives us an audible frequency of 281.047460 hertz, approximately a C sharp. Now let's hear the music of these farthest spheres in relation to our position on Earth. The Ohm Uranus V, with its archetype of genius and revolution, in the manner of Prometheus, with whom Uranus is equated, creates within us an awakening to inner knowledge and our unique divine will. The Ohm Neptune Perfect V has a mystical and transcendental quality evoked by Neptune's watery domain. This is the interval of poets and dreamers, and from whence such inspiration derives. The Ohm Pluto microtone, in all of its dissonant glory, communicates to our shadow self, addressing all that is toxic, in order to eliminate them and transform us thereby leading towards our true potential through the renaissance of our soul. Now let's recapitulate the music of all of the spheres. Recall that in the time of Pythagoras, the only planets known were Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, Sun, Venus, Mercury, and the Moon. However, all of the planetary tones, ancient and new, are extremely powerful, so please take care with them. The Solar Seventh. Earth Day Fifth. Z 
Zodiac Third. Full Moon Sixth. New Moon Fifth. Mercury Microtone Ohm Venus Sixth Ohm Mars Minor Second Mars Venus fifth Ohm Jupiter fourth Ohm Saturn minor second Chiron, Major Second. Om Uranus, Fifth. Om Neptune, Perfect, Fifth. Pluto microtone and finally the Chiron Sedna magical tone this is the music of our world as stated by Toth that which is above is as that which is below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.